everyone it's Ross and today I want to talk about just protecting your vegetable beds um, we have different animals here on this property we got a groundhog that is a menace I think we've also got some rabbits that some of you guys had pointed out in a prior video but when we talked about the the vole damage here on my apple trees some of you guys may have thought those were rabbits I've definitely seen some rabbits I've seen some skunks I've seen all kinds of squirrels, birds, I mean, you name it, we got a lot of wildlife back here. We even have one deer that comes in here. The point I wanna to make today in today's video is just protecting these beds and how to do it in an easy and affordable way. It's also, it doesn't look that bad because this stuff here is what I'm using. It's chicken wire. You can get this at any local uh, hardware store. They always carry this stuff. It's really great, it lasts a long time. It's affordable, um, it's easy to work with. This stuff keeps out 90% of all the animals. And if I wanna protect a particular area, that's all I have to do is, you know, basically wrap this whole thing around the area and that's it. The issue is I gotta come in here and I gotta walk over this, right? I almost just tripped. <laughs> and uh, that's how I gotta get in here but it's not the end of the world right i'd rather have this than nothing and what we've done here is very simple we just take some steaks bamboo steaks which are also very affordable you can also get them from your own trees if you do some pruning you can prune off pretty uh strong limbs here whenever you guys do that probably in the springtime and those will be your steaks for the upcoming season. It's really, really simple. We're just gonna put the stake in between the little rivets here, I guess. I'm not exactly sure what the word is, but in between the little slits in the chicken wire. You can also tie the chicken wire together. You can tie the stakes to the chicken wire. This thing isn't going anywhere. It's been here for years and it's kept out everything but the birds. And it's done an exceptional job for me. Um, the whole reason why I needed to do this ASAP is because it's warming up out here. Spring is here and we want to keep a lot of those pests and critters out of this whole area. Um, believe it or not, I have planted some potatoes down here underneath all this straw and I had some groundhog come in here and start chewing on the potatoes. So we needed to come in here and protect this really quickly. I would say the row cover is going to do a really great job of protecting these different seedlings that we planted out. Um, until of course we take the row cover off, we're going to have to gate this off with more chicken wire. Um, the potatoes should grow at that point. I probably won't have to protect the potatoes and we can move this chicken wire very easily around here and come back in the corner. So that's really it. You know, nice little quick video for you guys. I didn't want to do anything crazy with this one, but that's it. So hopefully you guys learned something. You're thinking about this and this was helping you guys come to some kind of a conclusion or answer. All right. Take care. I'll see you for tomorrow's video. Catch you later.